Can you explain in Greek how confident is confident in Philippi Philippians 1, 6 concerning finishing what he started? Amen, Mike Taylor. For I am confident of this very thing, that he who began a good work in you will perfect it until the day of Christ Jesus. This work. Uh, this seems to be a perfect tense, and it is a perfect tense. This is word patho, which means to persuade, uh, believe, trust. Now, this is a perfect tense, so Paul has been this way. So Paul's confidence, here's why it, it's extremely confident. Paul's confidence, Mike, isn't in us. How do we know Paul's confidence isn't in us? Let's go back to it. Paul uses the perfect tense. This word, if you see what, what's called this reduplication, so this um, P epsilon and then P again. So the beginning of this word, pathos, uh, begins with a P or pi. Some of you guys would say it's P. There's no I sound in the Greek. It's E. Um, this poithos, so it's pepoithos. It is the perfect tense, which is a completed action in the past. Well, how can Paul be confident about it, about them? He's not. He's confident about God. That's how confident he is. And so for this reason, I am very, extremely confident of this very thing that he, and notice he even emphasized why he's confident. He's confident in this very thing because he, that being God, who began the good work. So who starts the work? Who begins it? God does. He began a good work in you uh, and will perfect it. Oh, by the way, this is a future active indicative for this word. He will perfect it, or I should say he will complete it, perfect it. He will cause this thing to come to complete, to completion, to end. That's what the word teleo, teleos is. He will do so until the day of Christ. So how long will he, how long will he who began a good work continue doing it? He says, look at it, archi hemeris, which is until the day of Jesus Christ. Yeah, Paul is extremely confident about that extremely confident. Amen. Now, someone can want to refute it, but again, words have meaning. Words have meanings.